So, uh, hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. With yet again a different phone. I'm now using the wife's uh, flip phone, Samsung flip phone, Z6 or something. Um, so, hopefully, the picture quality is decent. Uh, I've got it on the highest um, setting. So anyway, uh, this is from Bud Brewer and Taproom. It's their Jan's Jaffa Cake. Uh, I love Jaffa Cakes myself. 4.8%. So, smooth orange and chocolate notes, it says here. 4.8%, uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm waiting for my son tonight. Literally dark 10 minutes ago. And, uh, and his, his kickboxing place is in Shearwood. Uh, it's, it's on, there's, it's a street, there's, there's a bit of a bloody double yellow, not a massive double yellow, you know, it, it, it's like 10 to 9 at night, and all of a sudden this bloody car with its fucking lights full blast, pulled around the corner, next minute this twat's ring, putting his window down, and uh, I assume it was a copper or some, just some dickhead, you know, trying to act the twat. Excuse me, can you not park on the corner and on the yellows, please? Double yellows. Okay. And I'm like, you're in a plain clothes white car. Could well have been coppers. Well, I was looking for the number here. You know, I, I couldn't physically see a number. Uh, just to be honest. It'd have been, go away, fuck off. <laughs> so, not much of a head on this one. It's funny how the lemon meringue had a real bouncy head on it the other day. Beers are beers. Certainly chocolate on the nose, I can smell. Yeah. I mean, was I hurting anybody sat where I was? No. I'm not on the main road at all. Do you know... They park in Nottingham, in, she in that area at Sherwood. They park at all twatting angles. You get these fucking delivery drivers doing new turns in the road. And, and yet, and there I am, sat on a quiet road. Yes, I'm on double yellows, yes. So, technically, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, just being a twat for the sake of being a twat. And, I, and I'd only just moved there. The other car that had been there had been there for about 30 minutes. Bear in mind, this is at keg temperature. The shed's freezing. So I'm not going to get the flavours as they would if it was in the house. Uh, I can taste the orange. I can taste the chocolate. But yeah, you know, there's not many times I lose my rag. Keys beer reviews, <laughs> but that it was like, oh, for fuck's sakes, is that all you've got to do? Some bloke, not a young bloke, sat in his car waiting for his son. You got gangs of dickheads around doing a plain clothes white car. Are they gonna go up to groups of youths? I bet you fucking not because they, they'll, they'll get the fucking they'll get the, they'll, they'll get abused. Pick somebody on in his car. It's not really doing any harm. Technically, yeah, I'm on double yellows. I'm there for 10 minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm backed away from the corner. I wasn't actually on the corner. Jobs worth. You do get jobs worth. Bloody hell, when we were on the Arboretum and we get people pissing about, as long as they want fucking being totally twats, then... You leave them be, you know. I mean, the ones that really are being muppets, we'd go and deal with, you know, back in the day. But, uh, oh. And I'm already slightly stressed tonight because I've been to the doctors today. Wife, well, nurse. I have not had a blood pressure test in a long, long, long time. Nine years, apparently. 
Um, I don't even remember having one nine years ago. So, you know. I remember having one at the hospital last year. Don't they talk to each other? When I fell over and did this. Back in 2000. Yeah, last year. Um, so I'm there. I'm stressed up. Because I don't like going for blood pressure and all this. I don't like it. You know, it's I don't go to the doctors. You know. I, uh, unless I'm actually dying. Then I'll go. Uh so I went a bit stressed up because I don't want to go. Can wife dragging me along. Gets in there, does me arm. She was a nice enough girl, to be fair. And he says, uh, oh, you're 140 over 90. And I says, is that good? Bad? Um, and she looks and says, oh, it's the same as nine years ago. And I thought, fucking up. So I've been going for nine years like this. And... Uh, you know, regardless of what the scores mean, um, he says, How much do you drink a week? <laughs> a couple of pints a night, maybe a bit more at weekend, you never know. <laughs> Although, actually, on Saturday, and he actually had two frigging pints, two, and took that down. And uh, and then I says, Oh, what's my um. My blood, what's my blood type? It says uh, in this country we don't, unless you give blood, you don't get you, you don't get to know your blood type. And I'm like, what the bollocks is that? And anyway, she's took some bloods. I'm supposed to do a urine sample. She says, do you want to um, get your blood test? And I says, I think might as well. Um, I wasn't overly full starved away to be fair, but uh, I suppose if there is something better to know than not know. But the only problem with that is I now have severe anxiety because the the blood pressure thing at 140, you read up about it and it's not not the greatest of numbers to be at. Um, and I can feel the anxiety in my legs. I can feel it. And and this is where this is it's slightly my Achilles heel because I worry and overthink and uh, I think I'm dying before I'm even fucking dying you know um, and even now I'm abs I'm absolutely on red anxiety uh, crazy in it you know um, I mean, so you read what causes high blood pressure and anxiety is one of them things it causes high blood pressure it's like fucking hell and doing breathing like that is supposed to bring your heart rate down or you know whatever um, Not get, not letting myself get stressed. Then get two fucking dickheads in the car, moaning at you for, for nothing. Yeah, these days you see these little fuckers on scooters and electric bikes go whizzing in and out of the traffic. Please sit in there, not doing no. And uh, you know. Like you phone the police or uh, uh, these days and it takes some hours or they don't even come. And it's like, are you really that busy? Come on. It is a funny world. But anyway, chocolate and orange notes. Um, like I said, I'm drinking at keg temperature. Optimal temperature is sat in the ass in front of the fire, which I will be in about 10 minutes time after I've uh, done my second review. Do both reviews together because it's too cold to come down to the beer room twice. Um, I'm at that stage of the game now where I'll only be coming down the beer room, cracking the odd review out and just seeing how I go from there really. Um, oh. <sighs> I 
Just got a good gallop of the uh, orange then. If you're in Bridlington in the next month or so, um, it's got its Christmas beers on the go. So, you know, go and treat yourself. Go up there, treat yourself. You've got Free Bees Micro Pub round the corner. Uh, both places are child and dog friendly. You've also got the Moon Tap round the other corner. Sadly, not child friendly. And uh, and not exactly beer if you're a friendly either because came out three times while we were sat outside to check that I wasn't giving my son any bloody cola. Oh, we're not allowed to serve. Is that cola for your son? We're not allowed to serve him. You're taking the piss off. Yeah, it's fucking cola, mate. I don't care what the licences are in this country. But if it's fucking cola and he sat outside on a main road, can't drink cola. I dare say I won't be going in that pub again. If I, Next time, if I go back to Bridlington, <laughs> no. No, no. I mean, let's be fair. I can't even imagine any any bloke who does licensing to even give a toss if it's a kid drinking cola. Even if the licence says we're not allowed to serve cola to 118 sat outside on the main road. Oh, right, OK. Oh, oh, fucking hell, that's some licence, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dude, he got me at that. <laughs> fucking hell. I'm, there, I'm looking at him in the pub and I'm thinking, did I just hear that right? Hey. I mean, I can understand not coming into the pub. I get that. Get the license, but you got seating outside, and you're still not allowed to serve with cola. Poor fucker could have been dying of um, hydration, you know. Jesus Christ! And let the yet that the yet they let someone who was clearly under eighteen with a dog in. I could tell he was under eighteen, uh, even though my son was fourteen. I looked and thought, "You're not eighteen. And uh, did I want to kick off? We was all pissed off. We'd all seen it. So like five adults had seen what happened. And we and then they kept coming out. Now, however they were coming out, because they wanted the ciggy on the street. But the fact that they kept looking over and the fact that the camera's above us. Yeah, disappointing. Yeah. Hence why I, did not, I didn't do a review of the moon tap. I did a review of three bees. I think I did anyway. Um, sure it is. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, them sort of places royally piss me off. But, um, yeah. It's been a night for that. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, I'm really stressed up because of the uh, blood pressure thing. Um, which doesn't help your blood pressure being stressed. I knew before I went it wouldn't be good for me. Because I'm already stressed before I go. And she's there taking it. She says, can you breathe a bit less? And I go, no, I can't. You know, I've got anxiety about coming. I'm there and I'm anxious. So that would have, that could have possibly have artificially inflated my um, levels anyway. Um, who knows? I'm not a doctor. But, um, yeah. Anyway, there's a nice chocolate and orange beer. It's good to talk. Yeah. Bit of the real raggy came out there, yeah. Not being, not trying to be nice, you know. I wanted them in the white car, whether they were coppers or not, to come round the corner and just say something again. And I'd turn around to them and say, "Do you not think you're being a bit miserable there?" As as they drove, as they started to drive, I should have said, "Merry Christmas." <laughs> fucking Grinch. Um, would I drink it again? Yes, yes, yes. Love to have it at room temperature. Out of five for me, a good 4.3 out of five. Miserable bastards. Do apologise to Bid Brewer and Tap Room for swearing and profanity on my review. And calling the neighbours pub round the corner, even though it was, you know, I'm only stating what exactly happened.